Hi guys, welcome back to another video. A today's question on array's topic is trapping rainwater. The question states that given an array of n non-negative integers representing height of blocks at index i as a of i, where the width of each block is one, compute how much water can be trapped in between blocks after raining. Let's have a look at the example. Let's consider uh, six blocks whose height are three zero zero two zero four. So looking at the figure, uh, we can say that we can collect around 10 units of water 3 in the second block 3 in the third block 1 in fourth and 3 again in the fifth block so totally we can collect 10 units of water so now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem let's consider an example consisting of six blocks whose heights are 300205 let's declare few variables like water L max or left max as well as right max and initialize all of them to zero. Let's also create two arrays uh, to store the left greatest and right greatest element. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm to solve this particular problem where we first find the left greatest element for every element except the first one. That is we traverse the array from i is equal to 1 to n minus 1. And then we check whether if a of i minus 1 is greater than L max. Since 3 is greater than 0, therefore we update the value of L max as 3. And then insert L max value into L of i, that is L of 1. Similarly, for i is equal to 2, we check whether if a of i minus 1 is greater than L max. Since 0 is not greater than 3, therefore we just insert L max into L of 2. Similarly, we check for i is equal to 3 i is equal to 4 and i is equal to 5 and now the value of i is 6 which is not less than n minus 1 therefore we exit the for loop and start calculating the right greatest element for all elements except the last one so we traverse the array from i is equal to n minus 2 that is the second last to up to 0 we check whether if a of i plus 1 is greater than r max. Since phi is greater than 0, therefore we update the value of r max as phi. And then insert r max value into r of i, which is r of 4. Similarly, we check for r of 3 and update the value of r of 3. We keep on checking until we reach the value 0. And finally we have updated the right greatest array which is r and now i points to minus 1 which is not greater than 0 therefore again we exit this for loop and start with another for loop where we actually calculate the the units of water which we can collect so we declare another variable known as min lr which is the minimum between left greatest and right greatest so the minimum of 3 and 5 is 3 so we check whether if min lr is greater than a of i since 3 is greater than 0 therefore we update the value of water as water plus min lr minus a of i so the updated water water value is 3 that is we have collected 3 units of water in the first block or the block represented by the index 1 similarly for i is equal to 2 we calculate the value of min as 3 check whether if min is greater than a of i since 3 is greater than 0 again we update the value of water as 3 plus 3 minus 0 so totally we have collected 6 units of water till now again for i is equal to 3 we calculate min value check whether if min is greater than a of i that is 3 is greater than 2 therefore we update the value of water as water plus min lr minus a of i so the updated value of water will be 7 as we can see in the figure and then for i is equal to 4 again we calculate min lr value check whether if min lr is greater than a of i and update the value of water as 7 plus 3 minus 0 which is 10 so as we can see in the figure totally we have collected 10 units of water so we can print the water value so now let's begin with the actual code as we have seen in the explanation part first let us declare few variables namely water 
L max and R max and initialize them with zero. Let's also declare the array size, input the array size and then declare array A which is the actual array, the left array which is L and the right array and the sizes of all these arrays will be n now let's input the array elements and now let's begin with the actual algorithm where we first run a for loop from i is equal to 1 to i is less than n and then we check whether if a of i minus 1 is greater than l max and if so we update the value of l max as a of i minus 1 and then we insert l max into left of i or l of i similarly we run a for loop from i is equal to n minus 2 to i is greater than or equal to 0 and here we check whether if a of i plus 1 is greater than r max and if so then we update the value of r max as a of i plus 1 as well as insert r max into r of i and finally we declare another variable called as min lr and run a for loop from i is equal to 1 to n minus 1 and then we calculate the value of min lr as minimum of l of i and r of i then check whether if min lr is greater than a of i and if so then we update the value of water as water is equal to water plus min lr minus a of i and finally we can print the water value and that's it we are done with our code we can compile it now so our code is compiled successfully and we can submit it now and our code got submitted successfully so if you found the video helpful do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparation thank you